Shri Matri Namaha. Today we are going to understand the meanings of Yunasai and Yanas. Hello my soul family, how are you all? Hope you are doing great, happy and healthy. Before getting into the video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel so you motivate us and bring out the sacred content to you all. The Yunasai, central point of all union, eternal consciousness of one all, also called great spirit, source or God. Often uh, you might have heard people saying or you might have yourself said that okay God please help me oh universe please bring me to this oh universe I have attracted this oh universe thank you so much I have done this thank you so much for this wish and all these things right. So whom you are referring to you are referring to Unisai okay you are doing all the attractions to the Unisai you are referring to Unisai as God or spirit the great spirit or the souls or the universe all these things are Unisai you are referring to the central point of all union okay and you're manifesting things or and you're being grateful for the things and you're wishing for the things or you're praying for the things you are doing all these things to the unisai right so the unisai are the central point of all union right so the yanas who are yanas now the eternal collectives of the consciousness projected by the source god to form the three primal sound fields the source god we have already talked about who are unicides okay so the unicides projected themselves to form the three primal sound fields and they are called as kundavre so first it is unicide okay who is a great spirit source of god and they have projected themselves into yanas for the three primal sound fields who are called as kundavre i hope that that this is clear till now okay the kundavre of the energy matrix beyond a 15 dimensional time matrix so these kundal rays are not in our dimensional time matrix they are outside of the 15 dimensional time matrix if you did not yet watch my 15 dimensional time matrix video please go watch that in that i have kept i have explained the entire 15 dimensional time matrix and after the 15 dimensional time matrix i have kept three red dots right so those red dots are nothing but kundal rays three primal sound fields they are right so first is unisai the nyanas the unisai projected themselves into yanas yanas are the three primal sound fields who are referred to as kundu rays okay which are beyond a 15 dimensional time matrix from and through which the conscious life field of our time matrix is seeded so the seeding which has been done um, is by the kundu rays who are the primary sound fields who are the yanas okay yanas seed things the living consciousness into our 15 dimensional time matrix so whatever is happening in the 15 dimensional time matrix is controlled by yanas and yanas are controlled by unisai it's not about control or uh, the control is not a right word but uh, how should i say it it's it's under them okay it's under them under their uh, supervision i can say it like that okay so unisai supervise your 15 dimensional time matrix is under the supervision supervision of the yanas and so yanas are under the supervision of the unisai okay so uh last seeded current life wave into our time matrix 950 billion years ago also ca called as geomantic entities the ultra terrestrials the cosmic trinity legitimate and ascended masters or the collectively the melchizedek cloister order of the unisai the melchizedek cloister iani elder council or a cosmic family of consciousness okay so these ionic elder councils they are the cosmic family of consciousness so uh, these are the melchizedek the cloister races and these are the ascended masters who came to earth 950 billion years ago <laughs> okay so these are the geomantic entities these are the ultra terrestrials okay so these are the cosmic family group of consciousness okay so they have the entire conscious of consciousness of the cosmic family so this was the definition meaning and understanding of the unisai and yanas thank you so much for tuning in sri matri namaha